In this video, I'm going to show you the approach that I'm taking to validate search params within Next.js. Now, I got this because I've been working recently with Tanstack Router and Tanstack Start, and I really like Tanstack Router's way of validating search params. So I'm taking a fairly similar approach from Tanstack Router to validate search params into Next.js to validate search params. So I've got an example app here where it's a simple finance tracker where we can track income and expenses. And on the dashboard view, we have a cash flow where we can view the cash flow for a particular year. So for example, if we try and navigate to 2024, we should be able to see in the URL, the CF year, i.e. the cash flow year, is set equal to 2024. Similarly, if we select 2025 from the dropdown, CF year will update to 2025. And by default, if we have no CF year in the URL or in the query string, then it will just default to the current year. Now, the validation rules I have in mind for this CF year search params, so let's just load up 2024 real quick. The validation rules I want to apply to this CF year is, it must be a valid number, first of all. Also, the value cannot be greater than the current year. So for example, if the current year is 2025, CF year cannot be 2026. It will default back to 2025. Similarly, we'll have a minimum year. So for example, the CF year cannot be earlier than 100 years from the current year. So for example, again, if the current year is 2025, CF year cannot be earlier than 1925. Again, if that happens, it will default to the current year. So for example, if we add minus one for CF year, we can see our URL redirected and updated to set CF year equal to the current year, i.e. 2025. Now again, if we try to add an additional search param in our query string here, so I'm gonna say and Bob equals Jim, for example, we can see that Bob equals Jim gets stripped from the URL. So we get redirected to a URL with a valid query string. So to accomplish this is actually pretty easy. All we need to do is if we head on over to the code example, I've got my dashboard page here with my search params. We're saying we're allowing CF year as a search param. We're awaiting the search params then because this is a next 15 project. We need to await the search params where we have the search params values. Then we can destructure CF year from search params values. Now, CF year will be either a string or undefined at this point. So the first thing we need to do is create a schema using Zod. So at the top here, let's create a const search schema and set the SQL to Z, which we need to import from Zod dot object. Then let's add our CF year in here, and this will be of type Z dot coerce, because remember, CF year at this point is of type string. So all we're doing here is saying Z dot coerce dot number to convert the value of CF year into a number. So under the hood, Zod will convert it using number like so, just like we can see down here. However, with that said, we want to use Z dot coerce dot number. Then we want to add our validation rules in here. So let's say, for example, the minimum year will be the current year minus 100. So let's create a const today here and set this equal to a new date. So we'll have the minimum year will be today dot get full year minus 100. Then the maximum year will be the current year. So we can use today dot get full year in here like so. Then we want to specify that this is optional because there might not necessarily be a CF year search param as part of the query string in the URL. So let's add optional at the end here. Then we want to use the dot catch. So this will be the fallback value if any of this validation failed. So we just want to default then to the current year. So again, we can go today dot get full year. From here then, let's use this search schema down in our dashboard component. Instead of destructuring CF year from search params values, we can use the Vesepa package, which is a package I've created, and it's essentially just a glorified if statement, which checks the raw search params values against a validated search params values. So in here then, all we need to do is use the validate search params function, which we can import from Vesepa. Then we can pass three properties here. We can pass the raw params, which we want to set equal to search params values. Then we want to pass the past params set equal to the search schema dot pass, passing in our search params values. So this will validate our search schema. Then on invalid params, we can pass a callback function here, which will be passed a valid query string. So for example, let's say the user types in the address bar CFEA equals 2026. So it's greater than our max rule here, assuming the current year is 2025. Then the query string will include CFEA equals 2025 as part of the callback to the on invalid params. So here we can grab the valid query string. And all we need to do is then call the redirect function, which we need to import from next slash navigation. And we want to navigate to the current URL. So in my case, it's slash dashboard. Then all we need to do is interpolate the valid query string, like so. Additionally, the validate search params function will return 
the past params. So it's just a bit more convenient to grab some valid values from the past params. So in here we can go const and destructure. Let's open up our IntelliSense here. We can destructure CF year from the validate search params. So then we can just pass down CF year to whichever component needs it. So if we save this now then and take a look in the browser, nothing will have actually changed from the example I showed you at the beginning of this video because everything is all set up correctly. So if we try and type in here, CF year equals 2026 or 2206, whatever that year was, then we get redirected to a valid year, i.e. we default back to the current year. So this is the approach I'm taking in my next year's projects moving forward. It's just a much more convenient way to handle validating search params in a Next.js project.